Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as mentioned, my name is Mario Gonzalez. I'm the Deputy Director with Central La Familia Advocacy Services. We're a local nonprofit. Um, we work on a lot of different issues from parenting to mental health issues, policy and leadership, um, family strengthening, and then what I oversee is our Immigration Department and our Victim Services Department. Uh, we primarily focus on working with victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, and other serious crimes with assisting them with applying for humanitarian relief through the immigration process. Uh, we assist a few thousand individuals each year apply for what's called the U visa, VAWA, T visa. These visas uh, are a way to obtain residency, but it is not guaranteed that they'll obtain residency. It's rather a, a per, um, temporary status uh, of protection uh, from deportation because crime is happening all around us. We just had a shooting in El Paso where individuals of Mexican descent were targeted, individuals of the Hispanic community were targeted. Those individuals are most likely eligible for the U visa if they cooperate with law enforcement. Um, these visas are, are meant to assist law enforcement with um, prosecuting a case and taking it to prosecution. It is a way for law enforcement to have an immigrant uh, community member who has been a victim of a crime come forward, not fear that law enforcement is going to deport them, but come forward and then seek that support and work with law enforcement to ensure that they get the protection that they, that they require and that that case is prosecuted so that the criminal is held accountable for their actions. So any individual that you know who has had DACA, who ha um, has DACA now and is about to expire or is expiring soon, let them know that we can help them for free. Um, we're, we're there to help. We do have services that we charge for. Um, we uh, do some family-based petitions. We do some uh, employment applications. Um, uh, we do a little bit of everything. I know um, renewals, green card renewals that we charge for because we don't have the, the uh, funds for. But any DACA, uh, even though we don't have the funds, we'll help with. Uh, citizenship, we have some funds, but um, regardless of the fact, we'll all help them all fight for citizenship because the more citizens we have, the more voices we have when it comes time to vote. So again, anyone you know, um, let them know that we're there to help. And then. I think that's it, and then we'll wait for questions. We have a question over here from uh, Charlie from Charlie on the Bus. Yeah. Hey, um, I've heard you guys speak right now. You guys talked about uh, the mass migration of people coming over here and different capacities of you know, fleeing gang violence, <coughs> uh, domestic, uh, what is this? Gang violence, uh, poverty, and, and looking for opportunities to provide for themselves. Most of these people don't have the means to take care of themselves there. And there's a concern of Americans that they, when they do come, they're a drain on the system. The cost of the illegal immigration in America, just with the health care, is over $50 billion a year. The cost of education of uh, dreamers is $50 billion a year. So the, the things that some of the immigrants that are coming to America to flee from as violence, Mario, who was so elegant to say that he's helping illegal immigrants flee from domestic violence, flee from human trafficking. You're helping people in that capacity. What I oversee is our immigration department and our victim services department. Uh, we primarily focus on working with victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, and other serious crimes with assisting them with applying for humanitarian relief through the immigration process human trafficking, you're helping people in that capacity. But who are those people that they're uh, domestic violence from? Who are the ones doing the human trafficking? Are they Americans that are doing that to them? Or is it they're people that brought them and they're around all the time? So that some of the stuff that Americans fear or are concerned about are the things that some of the illegal immigration, some of the migrants are coming, that are criminal elements that are causing and clogging up our uh, what is it called? Our uh, prisons. We've got 25% of our prisons today in America. We have uh, illegal immigrants that are in there. So, so there's um, a lot of people that are committing crimes. If I can answer part of that real quick. Yeah, I think you might have misunderstood when I spoke. Um, we don't help individuals who are victims of a crime outside of the United States. We are helping individuals who are victims who live in this country, yeah. who yeah. have been victims of domestic violence. Um, who are victims of yeah. have an immigrant uh, community member who has been a victim of a crime come forward, not fear that law enforcement is going to deport them, but come forward and then seek that support and work with law enforcement to ensure that they get the protection that they, that they require and that that case is prosecuted so that the criminal is held accountable for their actions. 
Or so who's committing the domestic um, violence to those women? It, it depends on what they're applying for. Well, they're applying for a bond boy. It's a U.S. citizen. It's a LPR. So the U.S. citizen is committing violence on these women Obama. that you said? I'm sorry? It's, it's, it's United States citizens that are committing uh, domestic mm -hmm. violence on these women that you say you're helping? If they're applying for a bond boy, yeah. It okay. It can be. But the issue of why they're fleeing their home country is because the United States keeps going over there and intervening and creating all kinds of problems over there. So if you can question anybody, question but the U.S. state. Well, how about, but at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, how about their government's allowing it to happen? It at some point, they there has to be some it. Look what's going on with the United Venezuela. States they're government. fighting back right now, but and the U.S. government keeps putting their United States their government didn't government. go to those countries with yeah, armies and, and, and take them over. What are you going to say? Hey, guys. You're in the wrong room, man. Raise your hand if you have a question, Raise your hand if you have a question, but... Uh, uh, Charlie in the box is not one of our panelists, so I'm sorry I had to leave room for a second. No, did no, you, I'm, I'm, did I you mean, answer I the question? Uh, we're embarrassed. No, we should be embarrassed. The whole world is looking at us and laughing at us. I'm embarrassed to be an American. So we have one more question back there from. Well, the it was actually. This is actually a comment about the gentleman who's filming right here. I did a play, I just did a play that we showed two times about why the immigrants are coming to the border uh, and this last Saturday. And he filmed the whole thing without anybody's permission. We're aware of what he, of, of what Charlie is. We're just not trying oh, really? to, to really agitate oh, yeah, know. Charlie. Uh -huh. So oh, it's, it's, it's and okay. And he refuses There's to give me his phone. name and his telephone yeah, number yeah. because yeah. I would like footage of our work. Oh, you'll see footage of it. Trust me. Give me your information. Give me an SD card, and I'll give you. We're not trying to get any attention to. I'll give you all that. And we have one question. It was Ugo. Ugo had his hand raised. I'm just trying to say. I'm just asking why. Why he's. Okay, so. Why? Why is he doing? Why did he go and film without asking? And I actually here, and I just heard the things that you said. There's no reason. There's no reason for. Thank you very much. We we are aware. Right. But you know, at the end of the day, it's. 